Your beauty is a journey. How are you going to approach it? Are you going to do it all by yourself? Are you going to have somebody do it all for you? Or are you going to bring on a partner or a guide to help you through your journey together? Let's dive into this very important topic. You are beautiful. Podcast with J. Kim and D. Welcome to the You Are Beautiful podcast with J. Kim, MD. I'm your host, Dr. J. Kim, a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. And I'm on a mission to make the world a more beautiful place, starting with you. There are three undeniable truths that you must embrace in your heart. The first is that you are beautiful. The second is that you are unique. And the third is that you are worth it. Let's get started. For any important journey in life, you have three options in terms of how you want to take that journey. The most glorified version and trendy version of going on a journey these days is DIY or do it yourself. You can start from the very beginning, decide what kind of approach you want to take and see yourself all the way through to the end. Think about it this way. You're going on a mountain climb. So you book your trip. You book your plane tickets to get to the area, let's say Mount Kilimanjaro or something, and you book your flight to get there and you book your accommodations. Afterwards, then you go to REI or some kind of um, sporting goods store and you purchase all your equipment. You have any number of things you can get, including gear, including a compass, including a tent, um, you know, everything that you would need for a long, arduous mountain climb. I'm not a climber, so I don't know further details about that, but you get my drift. And then you have to make an itinerary for yourself in terms of, hey, where is my base camp going to be? And how many days is it going to take for, for me to get from point A to point B and so on? And when am I going to summit? Okay. And all the while, you have to make sure that your body is adapting to the altitude conditions. So you can't go too fast, right? Um, obviously, this is going to take, you know, at least a week. I think um, somebody I know, it took them, uh, I think, 10 to 12 days for the whole itinerary from getting to base camp to summiting and coming back down. So DIY is a great way. You know, you put all your effort into planning the trip and, you know, you can, yeah, do it by yourself. You can go to the base camp, you can set up camp and, you know, without any guides, you can try your hardest to go all the way up to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro and come back. The thing about it is the chance of your success is not so high if you decide to do something that difficult all by yourself. So if you want to DIY summit Mount Kilimanjaro, you could try, or there could be another easier way to get to the top of the mountain. So the next option is to have someone do it for you. You can hire a professional who has been up to Mount Kilimanjaro before, and you can pay them to go to the summit for you, maybe take your camera and take some pictures and come back, and you would get the pictures that that person took at the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, and that would be that. So there's little effort on your part, and there's actually little reward because you didn't put the sweat equity in in terms of actually going up the mountain and the enthrallment of seeing everything from the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Little effort, but little reward compared to DIY, which is a lot of effort and unknown reward because you may or may not succeed in your quest to accomplish your goal. So then what is the next option? The third option is to have somebody partner with you to be your guide where you are still putting in the effort in terms of actually putting one foot in front of the other to get to the top of the mountain, but you have some help beside you or with you to say, hey, let's 
do this much today, or you need this gear or that equipment today. And then, you know, let's make sure you recover properly. And then we'll wait for the next day to go maybe a little bit farther. So you're not doing it by yourself where you may not know your limits or you may not know the boundaries of that you must stay in to achieve your goal. The other part of it is that you may burn out in terms of, oh, I overexerted myself or I went too far and now I cannot continue anymore. In terms of what that means for you is that, you know, DIY, the effort is probably the highest in terms of the options of getting from where you are to your goal. The reward is unknown because for a tough journey such as that, you may or may not get there. At least you can say, hey, it was worth the effort. You know, I learned something from that experience, um, but I didn't reach the top. So there might be a hint of regret because your DIY journey didn't get you to the goal where you wanted. The done for you way of um, doing something is, hey, I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to let an expert plan everything from A to Z and do everything for me. So there's little effort on your part, but there's also little reward. So then what's the best way to go about this arduous journey? It's the approach of having somebody there to guide you. Ultimately, you're putting in some effort. And this, I think, is the best way to approach your beauty journey. So many people go to aesthetic professionals or plastic surgery offices like here, and they expect everything to be done for them. Is that your mindset? If it is, I strongly encourage you to change that mindset. If something is done for you, there's little to no effort on your part, except maybe paying for the transaction, right? And so the result that you get, yes, it is good. You know, if you get an injectable treatment, if you get a skincare treatment, if you get surgery, these are all good results that you can get from most aesthetic professionals and plastic surgeons. However, if you are taking the done for you mindset to your beauty journey, you're not going to be happy in the end. And here's why. If there's very little to no effort on your part, you will enjoy the experience of being taken care of in terms of your beauty at your aesthetic professional's office, okay? The appointment to get your Botox or the appointment to get your microneedling or even a plastic surgery operation. That in itself is an experience. And yes, you have to sit in the chair. You have to get this treatment done for you. Once you leave the chair, how are you going to protect that investment? How are you going to help maximize that result? Are you just going to go about life the way that you normally did? Are you not going to abide by the instructions that your provider gives you in terms of taking care of your investment? You must do that in order to achieve the maximum result that you want. And this way, if the procedure is done for you, but you also invest your time, effort, and energy into maximizing the result, then you're going to be much happier about the outcome. Now, let's go back to the DIY approach to your beauty. Okay. There are a lot of products online, skincare products, microneedling products, gua sha. There are also different things like mewing or um, jaws or size, you know, to develop muscles and to um, ostensibly change your facial shape. So, those kinds of DIY prospects, they're very appealing because you're doing it for yourself. That's the idea, is that you're not paying a professional for something that you could do on your own. So that's kind of like trying to renovate your house from the very foundation all the way to the studs, the electric, plumbing, mechanical, the drywall, everything. Okay. Now, that takes a lot of time. And there will be some reward in terms of learning about the process of your journey and what you have to do, okay? When it comes to home improvement, right? 
learning about construction can be rewarding for some people. When it comes to your beauty, learning about what can help you achieve the, a more beautiful version of yourself is very rewarding. And you can apply it to different stages of your beauty journey. For example, certain skincare products are good for most or all stages of life. I mean, think about sunscreen, for example. Any season, no matter what age you are, sunscreen is great for you. Or for example, let's say you're trying to brighten your skin. You know, red light therapy can be a nice choice. There are all sorts of red light masks that you could wear at home and they can be of some benefit to you in terms of improving your skin quality, making it look brighter, making it more radiant. There are countless videos on YouTube and social media um, where beauty influencers talk about 20 must-have beauty products from Amazon or, you know, you get the idea. And to a large degree, you know, many of those products can be good for you. I will submit to you that there is a limit to the efficacy and how far it will take your beauty journey. So to take your beauty journey to the next level, you want to bring into your life a guide, somebody who is going to listen to your concerns, goals, wants, needs in terms of your beauty journey and to give you recommendations and to provide some treatment for you to get to that next level, to get to the most beautiful version of yourself. That does not mean that the responsibility is given entirely to that professional. Ultimately, your beauty is your responsibility. And so it is important to ask good questions in terms of, hey, you know, how will this treatment help my beauty? Hey, what is the downtime? Will this hurt? How much does it cost? You know, these are other very common questions that are important for you to have answers to when deciding on your beauty journey. Any aesthetic professional or plastic surgeon will listen to your goals and figure out a plan for you to get to that next level. Here at my office, we have multiple professionals who specialize in different concerns when it comes to your beauty journey. So I, as the facial plastic surgeon, will listen to your surgical goals. Our injector, our esthetician, um, other providers will listen to your goals with regard to how they can help you with their specialized set of skills. I'll give you an example from real life. So a few years ago, my wife and I traveled to Iceland. It's something that we had always wanted to do. So we planned a week trip. We planned everything from beginning to end. We booked all our accommodations. We booked all our flights. We kind of made an itinerary for ourselves with all the excursions to correspond with uh, where we would be, on what date. And so it was a lot of effort and we had a great time and I would highly recommend Iceland uh, as a wonderful trip for anybody who's interested. We even got to see the Northern Lights. Uh, we were chasing them for like a few hours late, late into the night. And when we finally saw it, we were like, <sighs> we're so inspired, um, so just like awestruck at the beauty of the Northern Lights. And for me, that alone was worth the trip to Iceland. At the end of the day, it was a lot of work and the reward was really great. And we had a wonderful time. Compare that to more recently when my wife and I went to London. And we had been to London before, but we wanted to have a next level experience. So we actually hired a friend who was a travel agent to look into certain experiences that we might like that we would have never thought of or heard of. And so we went on our trip um, I mean, we booked the flight and the accommodations, but our friend booked the other experiences um, based on what our preferences were and what he felt like, hey, this is what Jay and his wife would like. We followed the itinerary and we explored a side of London that we had not experienced before. You know, London has a reputation for not being the best food city in the world. Um, obviously Paris or Tokyo would be better food cities just historically by reputation, but we had a great time eating in London. You know, who knew that England has great food from all over the world. I mean, their Indian food is great, obviously, but also the Chinese food, Italian food, um, even Korean food. I mean, who knew? 
So it opened our eyes to a new food experience in London that we hadn't thought of before. And another great experience that we had was we actually went to an experience in Northern London where you are going into what looks like a refrigerator door. And through that door, there's a great British Bake Off challenge like experience where you bake a cake just like they do on the show. And then you line them up at the front for the judges to judge how good your cake is, how good it looks and how it tastes. So we had a wonderful time with that. And without the help of my friend who was a travel guide, who was a travel agent, we would have never thought to look into that. The food experience and also the bake-off experience, um, those are some of the ways in which we had a more enhanced, a more enjoyable experience traveling to London than we had in the past. So now that you know we had an ex enhanced experience with uh, working with a travel agent, now I think back to our Iceland trip and I wonder, hey, how could somebody like that, an expert, a travel guide like that, how could that person have enhanced our experience in Iceland? What if a professional comes to our help and takes our experience to the next level? So that's what I want you to experience when it comes to your beauty journey. Because again, these three undeniable truths, you are beautiful, you are unique, and you are worth it. If you believe in those three absolutely critical tenets, then having a guide, an expert to help you on your beauty journey will get you farther than any DIY ever will. And so I submit to you that my team and I can be that guide for you to help you on your beauty journey. There is so much you can do at home on a regular basis, and that's absolutely necessary. But when it comes to getting your beauty to the next level, that's something that my team and I can help you with. Whether it's revising your skincare regimen to help your brighter skin, your more radiant, younger skin come forward. That's kind of the basics, right? So we can have a skin care expert evaluate your current regimen, your goals and wants and needs, and help you get to that next level. That's with your skincare regimen at home and also any skincare procedures here at the office to help you achieve that goal. If you're concerned about wrinkles or if you're concerned about volume loss in certain areas of the face, we have injectable professionals who can help you with those concerns, right? Botox has been a, an aesthetic staple for decades, and I don't see that changing anytime soon because we will always have concerns about wrinkles. So as much as there are anti-wrinkle creams, anti-aging creams, or do-it-yourself um, regimens at home to try to decrease the appearance of wrinkles, ultimately, the best way to help your wrinkles is to trust them to a professional. That professional can help you with treatments such as Botox, or we'll just call it Tox, to decrease the movements of the muscles that uh, make the lines that you don't like. You can try any amount of anti-wrinkle cream, but ultimately you need that extra level of care from a professional to decrease the wrinkles that you don't like. That does not absolve you of the responsibility to take care of your skin at home. You know, you don't just come in for a treatment and then neglect your skin for the few months between treatments. That's not how it works. That is a done for you approach where the investment on your part in terms of your time, effort and energy is minimized. So don't minimize that. You want to lean into this by Yes, trusting the professional with a treatment, but also taking that responsibility on yourself to continue to maintain what you can to help you achieve the most beautiful version of yourself. When it comes to plastic surgery, you can't just trust your surgery to the surgeon and then do anything that you want in the post-operative follow-up. And even leading up to surgery, even in the days and weeks leading up to surgery, you want to optimize your body 
in terms of nutrition, in terms of diet, um, in terms of, you know, even medications that you want to stop leading up to surgery. You want to make sure you adhere to these procedures and protocols. That way, you minimize the chance of any adverse events or complications happening after surgery. So there is the responsibility on, you, on your part, the patient, to adhere to those things that we recommend in terms of maximizing your outcome and minimizing complications after surgery. So again, this is a team approach where, yes, you are the person on the field, you are the person taking that journey, and my team and I, we are the coaching team. We are the guide helping you get to the next level, helping you to win at your beauty and achieve the most beautiful version of yourself. Even the best athletes need coaches. Think about Michael Jordan, who had Phil Jackson by his side. Not just the head coach whom you know, but think about all the people behind the scenes, including the training staff, including the nutrition staff, people like that who maximize that athlete's performance with how they help them. Likewise, your beauty is a journey. And if you want to achieve the most beautiful version of yourself, you need a team to back you, to give you that encouragement, to give you the recommendations, to give you the treatments to achieve the most beautiful version of yourself. This will get you farther than you ever could by yourself, right? And in this day of so much information online, you know, we can think, oh, I'll get all the information I need from the internet, from YouTube, from social media, and I'll do it myself. Well, who's got time for that? There are dedicated experts like me and my staff who that's our passion, that's our specialty, right? You have your life to live along with your full-time job, along with your family, along with so many other responsibilities. Are you gonna take on that added burden of DIYing your beauty just to get part way there compared to if you trust somebody like me and my team, experts. If you trust experts, some of that weight of doing it all by yourself is shared. You're not completely removing yourself from that burden, however, because yes, there is some responsibility on your part, but in terms of having somebody share that burden with you to guide you to get you to that most beautiful version of yourself, that's where the aesthetic professional plastic surgery team comes in. If there's any doubt in your mind that you do not deserve to have that kind of help, please dispel that myth from your mind immediately. You deserve it. Like we said, you are beautiful, you are unique, and you are worth it. So in terms of your beauty journey, yes, it is entirely yours it is your beauty journey, and it will be in a way that only you will experience. So myself and my team, we are well equipped to help guide you on your unique beauty journey. And remember, this is worth you taking that step and bring us on to help be that guide for you to achieve the most beautiful version of yourself. Again, to recap, your beauty is a journey worth investing in. You can either do it yourself, you can have somebody do it for you, or you can have somebody take that journey with you as a partner. The time, effort, and sweat that it takes to go the DIY route may not get you to the goal that you want. The done for you approach, the DFY, you may not enjoy the result as much because you haven't put your own effort into it. Also, because you haven't put your effort into it, it may not get you to the maximum result that you want either. The DWY, done with you, that's where you share the efforts of the journey, the investments of the journey with a professional. And that's how you achieve the most beautiful version of yourself. So if this message resonates with you and you want to start your beauty journey, do not delay. Your beauty journey is worth taking and we are here to help you with every step of the way. Please leave a comment down below with 
something that resonated with you in today's episode. And again, remember these three undeniable truths. You are beautiful, you are unique, and you are worth it. Until next time, take care. Yeah.